Hey Lynx, welcome to a new video series where I'm going to walk you through how to fill out various forms. My name is Lenny and I'm working with the counseling team to bring you this video. Today, we're looking at the PE waiver form. You can find these on the Counseling Schoology page and in the Counseling Center next to the door or on Lincoln's page or the SPS website. Moving on to the next page, we can say that we need to attach a copy of our high school transcript. I have done one semester of PE, so I'm going to X that box. I haven't done a PE waiver before, so I'm going to check no for that. I've also never been a TA or had any open periods, so I'm going to leave those blank. Then the category I fit into is directed athletics, but I'm going to run through the other categories. So physical disability is pretty obvious, and for this you need a doctor's note or something in your IEP. Religious belief is also pretty obvious and you need to get a note from your religious leader. Directed athletics means that you're participating in a school sport or athletics outside of school and you don't want to take the class in school, meaning that you need to get a coach's signature. For military science, this is if you're doing a military science class. For employment, if you're self-supporting or supporting your family, you need to get a note from Dr. Eichner to do this. Other good cause, you can talk to your counselor if you think you might fit into this category. Okay, so now to the general info. My name is Lenny, so I'm gonna write that in. My student ID is written on my ID card and I can also find it on the source. I'm gonna write that in as well. And I'm the class of 2023 because I'm a senior. My PE competencies test score, I don't know, but because I've taken PE already, my counselor will know. So I don't need to worry about that. Then my waiver category is three because I'm doing directed athletics. The athletic program I participated in was swim and dive. So I'll write that in as well. And then since it's a fall sport, I did it in it ended in semester one. Hey dudes, future Lenny here. One important thing to note that the form doesn't really make clear is that you need to write not only what semester your sport ends in, but also the school year that you competed in. So because mine's a fall sport, it ended in semester one, so I'm gonna write S1, the S is important. And then I'm gonna write that it started in 2022 and it ended in 2023, because that's the school year. Then you're gonna need to get the coach signature and your parent guardian signature, but you don't need to get the signature of your parent or guardian if you're over 18. Now I'm going to move on to the last page. You only need to do this page if you were in category 3, which is directed athletics, and you didn't do them at Lincoln. One final important thing to note is that for the back page, you do need to do it if it's Lincoln Lacrosse or Ultimate, because those are school sports, but they aren't run by the school. So you will need to fill these out for those two sports. So I recommend that you keep track of these dates that you practiced beforehand. So because otherwise it's hard to track it down. So you write down the date, the number of hours you played, and the supervisor signature. You need to make sure that the number of hours adds up to 80 hours in one semester. If you have any questions, you can ask your counselor. Good luck, Lynx.